Hello everybody, it's Derek Freeze, and right here is a miniature wall pack. I purchased three of these from the Flea Bay. Um, the first one, I made a video of doing it, but I wasn't really happy uh, with this because my fodder interrupted. But um, this fixture right here, I wired up with the corner for the time being just to test and see how it works. These fixtures don't come with daylight sensors. So I went to Ace and bought some for each of these fixtures. So, um, so look at pretty much what the fixture is. But these are 70 watt high pressure sodium, um, 120 volt. And for our daylight sensor that we're gonna be putting in within the fixture, I got these at Ace, these were, I think, $13 a pop. One of these West Tech daylight sensor that I sell. Dinguses. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Incandescents, uh, CFLs, and RDs. Um, at least that's what it says. I, I tested it with the other sodium vapor light and it seemed to work just fine. So, yeah. And these things are kind of a pain to unbox, but yeah. The first time I put I put one on here, I was a bit confused. So, um, yeah. And I'm going to show you, because I've not unboxed this one or the other one yet. I got a total of three of these. My original plan was to put one on the garage and then two on the front of the house. But I think these are a bit too big. So most likely it's just going to be the one on the garage and then these ones will be spares. They might go to friends' houses and get put up somewhere. Maybe on the shed where the street light is or on the fence. I'm not too sure. And these things were very inexpensive. They are definitely worth the money. If I remember, I'll put a link in the describe uh, where you can purchase these. And yes, I did already notify the Jordan you about these. Um, but they're very basic little fixtures. They're kind of like a brownish color. And while I get, um, actually I might talk a bit more about the appeal of these fixtures to me a bit later, but two screws on each side that remove the cover. They have little washers on them to keep the screws from falling out. At least the other one did. I don't know. This one looks like one of the screws might fall out, but who knows. So there's that, off and out of the way. Um, the bulbs are Uralix branded, 70 watt high pressure sodium bulbs. I don't know if these came with the fixture or if not, but they're here. And the other fixture uses the same thing. Um, we have a metal reflector. looks like it's a bit easier to remove. And these, this one is dated of January of 2008. The other one is as well. I'm not sure if I'll upload the, the, the video I did of the other one or not. Who knows, I might. The reflector. This wire looks like there's a bit of glue on it for some reason. But this is the hot wire. Which is orange. These are 120 volt fixtures, by the way. I might cut a bit off of this wire. Um, and then the white wire, which is neutral, of course. The fixtures themselves are most likely made in China. At least I believe they are. Probably says on the box. It doesn't really give much detail, the fixture on the box. There's a specification sticker on the side. Um, these, there's also apparently a fluorescent and metal halide variant of this fixture. Um, there's also 220 volt and then uh, 480 volt variants of this. Oh, and 208 of course, and 277 volts. So there's a bit of a volt variety of these. And you could also get them with a uh, daylight sensor or no daylight sensor, which these are no daylight sensor models. I thought they had daily sensors, but they don't. But no big deal. I'm not too. I'm not going to complain about them lacking 
they light sensors. So this right here is the upper box. Now we're going to get into the daylight sensor. And I know these are called photo cells, so people are probably absolutely complaining to me saying, Hey Eric, why are you calling it a daylight sensor? I'm just going to cut that way off. I think I got enough of this on. I'm going to cut ports myself. Um, at first, I was a bit confused on how these work, but the, um, we get a wiring diagram here in the owner's manual, which I used when wiring the other one up, which I was a bit confused with that. Um, it made more sense when I was actually working on this with my hands. This one is a bit different, so I hope it's daylight sensor, as I would say. Might actually be able to get away with having it. Out a little ways from the fixture. And I had it to where I'm in the hole for it. Oh, it's like this one. So stick that there and then grab the other piece on the other side and that's but I tighten down. And I guess how far out you have it is how sensitive the picture is. And the gasket that came with it just broke. We have each one of these here. That's on the floor, which isn't a good thing. But the black goes right to this. I'm actually going to shorten this wire because it's going to be in the box. I'm not going to need all of this excess wire. That's working. And if I remember, this is 14 gauge. Which I was correct. So this goes on. The, actually, I think it was to the red. Just the, yeah, black from the picture goes on to the red. So this goes on to the... Uh, why you're not small. So this right here, go on to the red. working. I'm going to add a bit of an extension on to the hot wire. This is 16 gauge. And this right here just goes right out to your fixture. We're going to shorten this as well. So I can shorten this a good, a good way. So you shorten it up to about here. Okay, 
This one's 16 gauge. This, this, and then fire out right here. This wire got sun faded. All of our wiring is to finish. One on the top. work on drilling out two of the holes here for a back box. So let's see if these hook up to the more normalized back box version to do the drilling on top of this keyboard. Just a back gasket. I'm not going to need this anyway because my boxes are kind of nasty. So I'm going to have a normal looking box here. I want to see if it's a this fixture fits. Thank you. 
texture will in fact fit a box. So I guess the next thing to do with this one is get this installed outside. Things like this is what it's good to have pockets. I have a feeling this fixture will work perfectly fine. So, um, in terms of that, I did mess with lining it up. It seems like it should go on perfectly fine. So the next thing is that we should do is go outside and get the fixture mounted. So we'll be right back. So right up there, top in the middle of the screen is the fixture. Um, we're gonna get the later out so we can go up and replace the fixture. Hope this works good. I need to adjust the ladder back a bit more, but I'll show you the freak show. Because nothing goes how it's supposed to. We had a... Right. We had a spiaker fall off the wall. And the bottom looks fucked, and the speaker driver is fucked. Yeah, it just ripped it out right out of the driver. Oh, well, that's going to have to get replaced then. It's a good cabinet still, so I just have to find a new driver for it. I can't do a single freaking project without something going wrong. wrong. Nothing goes right. Something always has to break, and I hate when things break. It's getting annoying. I'm going to use the impact gun to remove the current fixture. Got a compacted fluorescent light. I might as well probably also remove this mercury vapor fixture. I've realized since I've been doing this with the cellular phone, I can just mirror the camera, and hopefully this right here looks like a pretty good view. Um, we'll get the um, tool or whatever, and I have to find 
which tool we're going to use. I'm wanting to use the impact gun. You see if that's over here. It might be inside. But this is what I'm going to use to remove the fixture. This is stable. We've got a compacted fluorescent bulb, which I will remove. Put this in the pocket. Wire nuts in there. What's in the other pocket? Got a screwdriver. These screws look somewhat short, so they might not be able. Used with the other fixture. You probably can't even hear what I'm saying. That's a metal fixture, so I'm not worried about it breaking when it makes contact with the ground. Um, it should just be fairly simple from here. It's just fish the, these wires here through the fixture, and then it should be ready to go. So, I'm going to grab the fixture and send this. And I hope these holes are big enough. I don't know if they are or if they aren't. might need longer screws. Stripping any of this. We'll connect the ground up first. Actually, since this is ground, I don't need a wire knot. Might use them the new wire nuts or the old ones. We'll use these new ones. Just 
still have the CFL in my pocket. So I guess I'll put the um new ones in the same pocket as I put the old ones. So next thing I'm going to get is the cover plate and the bulb and then we should be ready to get the fixture to working. Uh, I'm going to get the compacted fluorescent light out of my pocket and then I'll be right back once I get the other goods. So I'm back with the bulb and cover plate and stuff so before I put the cover plate on I go up there and install the bulb and reflector. Actually, I might be able to do it all at once. I'm going to try. So the fixture is up because I almost dropped my drill. So let's have a look at this. There's a look at the fixture up there. We'll cut the power on. This will be the first time this fixture has ever had power. And if everything works, this video should not be much longer but if it takes longer that means something is broke and the fixture is not illuminated now i might have to wait till it's dark but when i was messing with the daylight sensor earlier the fixture came on pretty much momentarily so I might have to check connections. There's also these ghetto switches in here, which might also have something to do with, with the light. So if I turn that off, 
nothing happens. If I turn that off, nothing happens. So hopefully the fixture is wired up correctly, because if not, it might be screwed. So it does look like it bodges off a little bit from the house, but that's not a big deal to myself. I know we're not having a circuit issue. We just have to wait for it to become dark. Maybe if the switch is down, it will work. Well, I'm gonna go up there and then cover the daylight sensor. And let's see if anything happens. If not, then we have an issue. might take a little bit of time the daylight sensor to detect anything or I guess this is why you test everything. The next thing I guess I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside, turn this off, remove all of this stuff. I'm going to run a cord up here, see if that works, and then plug it in on an extension cord and see to make sure if the electrical system over here is working. I know I could try this with a voltage tester. I just don't have one. So I'm going to do it the hard way. So my plan is very simple. And this is also broken. There's only one more screw holding it on to, so that's, that's just not good. And it's already starting to fall apart again. Nothing is working today the way it's supposed to. So, I have a cord here. Actually, I might have another one in the garage. It's not hooked up to anything. But I'm going to get a cord, run a cord up to that fixture, and then pretty much just plug um, the cord in or whatever and see what happens there um and then i'm wearing an extension cord it doesn't make any sense right now so we went go we went from the process of getting the fixture working to troubleshooting this troubleshooting is i guess could be a very fun thing to do let's make sure our fixture power is off so if i'm working on a fixture i don't have a shocking experience so that switch is off and sometimes there's some issues with the breakers and stuff in the garaga that I have to look into. So we got our strippers there. We're gonna look for a cord. There's probably one down here somewhere. Actually, there's one over there by the other door that I can grab that was on a lamp. And this one's all like dirty, gross, and grimy, but hey. It, it will work. So this cord was submerged in the flood waters. I should probably uh, not be using this cord and should be discarding it and then getting a proper cord. But um, I'm poor. I know I have a proper cord, but I'm lazy. I 
shouldn't be troubleshooting this because the fixture should be working right now, but it's not. So we're going to use 14 gauge setting. I'm probably stripping these off a bit too much. So that looks to be okay. Next up with this is we just go up on the ladder. Uh, we're going to remove our bulb and reflector, put these into the connectors, and then work from there on out. So. Climb up this. That's aluminum, so no big deal. If that hits the ground. So we have both of our leads from our picture. Well, it looks like I'm just going to check these quickly again before I go on to do the, the troubleshooting because I don't think these were connected up to our bare wires the right way. Nothing is shorted out because it is hooked up to the earth. right here. Our hot, which isn't live. Let's get that. Wrap that around. Let's see what works. <laughs> Just check those contacts, make sure they look good. I'm going to go indoors, activate the switch, and see if the fixture activates. No activation, so that is bad. Um, so we're gonna unhook both of these wires up to this cord, and then bring a extension cord over. have connected actually pretty okay, decently well. This is not going in the wire nut at all. Hey then, it just got stuck. Seems like a connection. Should have gone that way, how that one went. So, I'm gonna pull that cord 
down straight there. And I'm going to bring an extension cord over. So let's see if anything happens. Nothing happens. So, there's something with the wiring in the fixture itself that is not working. So, um, it's not an electrical service fault. So I'm put this extension cord away, which you can't see because it's not on camera. Um, and we're just going to get up here, remove that box, and the upper box of the ballast is, and then we're on seeing if those connections are on there well, or if they're not on there at all. For all I know, this fixture might be a dud. And I dropped the screw. <sighs> so, let's check our wiring. So our pot looks good. Our all of our commons look like they're hooked up. We're just going to check our commons again to make sure they are all hooked up. Look at this daylight sensor again. Everything, the light sensor looks fine. Let's check the hot.
the wire nut isn't working, so I'm gonna try one of the bigger ones I had in my pocket. This is also not working. We have a good connection on here, it's just the nut sucks. I have no idea right now what the issue is. Maybe if we connect, get rid of these jumpers and just connect them directly to the wires, maybe that should help. I don't see why that's an issue, but we're going to try. This on our black. And then our white. So neutral. And out of here. I already checked our neutral, but we're just going to um, eliminate that. And then connect that onto that, which should hopefully make everything really easy. And won't need any of those extra wire nuts. I only have two screws because I dropped one. I guess you should always test the fixture before you install it. Because trouble, troubleshooting on the ground is a lot better than troubleshooting in the air. It just like jumped off of there for no reason. I hate working on the ladder because I'm afraid of heights. Um, got a bulb screwed in there.
have a look at this. I'm gonna see if I can find my missing screw. If not, I'll just look in another one. I, it, that screw might not be that. Um, might not be a big deal anyway. Get that reflector back there. Well, let's flip this switch and see if anything happens. I don't know. Um, if it doesn't work, I have a feeling there's a fault with the fixture. And the fixture isn't working! Maybe if I go and mess with it some, a bit, I don't know, maybe the bulb's bad? It's a brand new fixture, so I don't know what's, why, it, why it wouldn't be working right now, but it might not be working. That's the case, this fixture here, it's been tested and proven that it works. And then this might actually be what goes up. And this screwdriver isn't working, so I can't even unscrew screw the thing. The screw isn't unscrewing. So we got the bulb out of this one and just gonna bring this bulb over there to the other fixture and see if it works. If not, that might be an issue. I didn't hear any sort of clicking noises or humming from the fixture. So maybe the igniter is bad. There is a number of things that could be wrong with this fixture. So this is gonna definitely need some, um, some help. I'm gonna try putting a different bulb in it. And this is what I get for not testing the fixture before I installed it. And this bulb now, so try it. we're trying a different bulb. This might be the might be officially the longest video that I've uploaded to this YouTube channel. Any success? No! At this point, I've decided to uh, determine or whatever that, that fixture is bad and it needs further inspection. So it's coming down. If it doesn't work, I'm going to send a complaint and hopefully see if they will send me another fixture or, um, or something. Um, I'll also try running it without the daylight sensor and see if that works. I did test this one earlier and this fixture does in fact work with the daylight sensor. And that means I will have to draw out the brackets on this fixture as well. So for the time being, which is today, I won't be able to use that fixture I just installed because it doesn't work. And I'm probably going to be losing a lot, a large amount of daylight. So in that case, I'm going to need light outside. So I'm going to use the mercury vapor bucket light that is mounted over here very very poorly mounted with a electrical cord from a VCR and an extension cord that runs to a GFCI outlet. And it might be dark enough for it to turn on. When you first turn this one on it, it fires up for a little bit and warms up because it has 
the uh, right fixture and stuff and blah blah blah. Um, I'm gonna make sure everything is off quickly before I remove that fixture. This door is all broken and it won't close the right way. It's a stupid seal because nothing is working right. The switch is off. We're just gonna try once again. I'm gonna flip it on and see if it magically works, which it doesn't. Um, I might show you with the other fixture what it's supposed to do. Um, but I'm just going to come up here, um, get a screwdriver and then remove everything because the fixture is the broken. So I might put the other socket back in I had. Um, that might be an option, but as of right now, it looks like the fixture is just going to be, um, replaced. And I'm going to have a closer look at this and see if it works. I'm going to try bypassing the daylight sensor and seeing if the fixture works with the daylight sensor. the ground. So this fixture is broken, and we've officially made it to one hour. So we're going to figure out what's going on. My father is messing with my stuff, and I'm already pissed off. I'm going to get even more pissed off if some of my shit is out of place. 
Um, not happy that this fixture isn't working, if you can't tell already. Um, and it might be very dark by the time I get the other fixture prepped and ready to go up here on this wall. So, so as of right now, I don't know if I have enough light, but we're going to try this again. Um, <coughs> let's see. Um, wait, bring the impact up with me. I, I won't. Um. Hopefully the camera is recording. If not, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. It's been a bad day. So that, that way. But first thing we're going to do is pull both of these wires back out. Remove the wire nuts. It's not working. The other screw is loose for no reason. So that one just fret it in.
This one down here, it's like acting like it's stripped. screw or something. I found the hole. And the hole appears to be stripped. One screw is holding that upper corner on. I'm going to go find a bigger screw that I can use in hopes this will stay together. I have acquired a larger screw. Let's try this again. Um, let's see how this goes. One step up a bit too high. One isn't really. is not working. Now I'm going back to that phase where I don't like uh, solid wire. It's not grabbing nearly as easily. And this is the other fixture. While I was inside earlier, I was, I drilled the holes in the back box, I mean in the back of the fixture, mounted up to the box. It's still not freaking working the way it's supposed to. Let's see if our neutral works, so. It's starting to get really cold outside. Nothing wants to stick to these wires. Peyton.
We don't have any other screws in here. It appears I do not. So I'm going to come back. Well, actually, I probably only just install the... Um, I don't even know where I put the reflector at. There's a reflector in here now. Everything is not where it was or was at at one point. That mercury vapor light does do a good job while recording. We're at 1 minute and 12 seconds. I don't even know if YouTube will even let me upload this. That door is still broken. So I need another screw. I'm going to get it. Um, that right there. And put this in there. I don't know where I put my other reflector at. I thought there was a reflector of this fixture somewhere, which it probably is. It's probably been misplaced. We have this. We got a bulb and a reflector. And tomorrow, I might be able to find everything else I need. And I don't see the reflector anywhere else. Oh. It's in here. Whatever. Well, um, yeah. It's delightful. Um, let's get back up on here. That's a leaf, not a bulb. Which I thought it was. Um. And before I put the cover plate or anything on, we're going to see if this works. Or I just see my body. What I'm going to do is I'll sit that there, grab the other screw. So, I'm just going to leave the camera here. Actually, no, I won't. I'll bring it inside with me so you can see what I have to go through. I'm going to use a different screwdriver because this one, like, it didn't really want to work the way it was supposed to when I was working with the fixture earlier. So, I'm going to put that one back, try to find another one. Most of these are flatheads garage. That's a nut driver, so it won't really work. It's a really small flathead. This will this one might here act, like might actually work. So we got this. Let's go inside. Let's flip the switch. This should work. Um, it should warm up nice and bright. Because this one actually works. The feeling. The feeling right now of this fixture working is just amazing. I felt like I just accomplished something amazing. So, put this on.
Or I shouldn't be staring directly into the light. I'm going to get blind by this. The best thing about this is that it works. Uh, that orange goodness. Yeah, I it definitely blinded me because when I'm closing my eyes, all I see is the um, is the orange hue of the sodium vapor light. That is so nice to actually see that again and actually have that. That is amazing. One thing I am a bit weary about is that it, it has a really good light output. It's shining all the way into the alley, um, up into the bedrooms, and I mean up on the house and stuff, but the bedrooms, that's where I'm worried about is I don't want it to shine directly in like my dad's room or something. So I might have to maybe put a block maybe on one side of the fixture and see if there's a way I can cut off the light to over in that direction like this so do that or at least just in that direction it does cover up that area so I might be taking this apart again and modifying the refractor so it doesn't shine in that area. But the light output is actually, I feel like this was better than the floodlight because the light definitely carries farther distance over in this direction. It looks so cool with the orange. I love high pressure sodium lighting and I feel like after all the crap I went through this was definitely worth it to have this on the side of my garage or corner or whatever. So I'm gonna put the later away. Um, it's gonna take this fixture down but I think tomorrow I'm gonna work on it and I might go back and make another video of troubleshooting the other fixture because it just doesn't work. Um, hopefully, right now when I get the ladder taken down, I won't break anything. So. This thing, I thought it was going to get brighter, but it seems like it's still actually warming up or it just finished because as of right now, <laughs> it's just felt like it just got like a lot brighter. And this fixture, I like this 
a lot more than the floodlight. The only downside of this is it isn't motion activated. Let's see how it looks on the security camera. That's another important thing is if it works with the security camera. And it looks really cool from the window in my opinion just seeing that high pressure sodium orange. This thing here is still that's going to be a fun thing to get working again. So, find out. But trust me, if the fixture actually works, if you do buy one of these, this is definitely worth the money. Um, I think I brought everything in from inside I and mean, from the outdoors. No, I still have the dry pod out there. Let's get the dry pod. Or just drove through the alley. The current time is nine thirty seven. Something else I wonder is, in complete darkness, how does it look in this area? And after speaking with my fodder, um, I will be actually putting a block within the refractor to keep the bright light from shining in. But this just looks really good, so... And the shadow that this has into the living room is just so cool. I love this. I'm not sure if everyone appreciates it, but I certainly do. You can see even it just kind of illuminates through there. And the reflection bear off the neighbor's window and the here you can see that too and I feel like there's no real need for a night light with that on and this thing's actually pretty efficient this actually has about the same draws about the same amount of power as the light that was there before and this one's a lot brighter so yeah makes me think the other one may have actually drawn a bit more being that it was the halogen variety but um, it's definitely, definitely looks pretty good. So I'm going to probably work with one of these right here to get a, um, these fixtures here. I'm going to work on getting a block put in probably along here. So when the fixture is on, it doesn't shine into my father's bedroom. So that might be a video for another day. Um, this whole mess here needs to get cleaned up, and it's just, this whole, this whole project was a freak show, so, it's good to know that this is working, so, thank you very much for watching, and keep the breeze.